Mark Rogers, CV, always talking college football, 24-7, 365. Subscribe to my YouTube channel here at Mark Rogers TV. As you can see, if you sift through the videos, we bring on some of the best bloggers and broadcasters in the nation, guys like Jerry DiNardo, Peter Burns from the SEC Network, and uh, again, contributors from all over the place to talk college football and analysis from myself, of course. Uh, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. Those are um, group pages at Mark Rogers TV. And then, of course, uh, the audio versions. Podbean, iTunes, uh, and Stitcher. Just search Mark Rogers TV. We're ranking all the schedules in the Power Five. That's 68 all the way up to number one. The initial video, the introductory video, will let you know our process. So for Texas A&M, it's the number seven schedule in the SEC. It's number 12 in college football. And so the Aggies uh, play in the vaunted SEC Western Division. They are one of the mid-tier teams. It's difficult to sort out this year. We know Alabama's at the top. LSU, Auburn challenging. That's the projection. And then for the rest of them, Ole Miss is probably at the bottom. Tough to differentiate between Texas A&M, Arkansas, and Mississippi State. So they've got to weed through the SEC Western Division, as they typically do. And uh, we've seen what that's done to Kevin Sumlin's team the last few years. 5-0, and 8-5 and finish. Uh, who do they play out of division. Well, this is one of the crossover games that doesn't make sense in the SEC. Uh, South Carolina, Texas A&M play every year. That game is coming up on September 30th. That's at Kyle Field. The other date out of division for Texas A&M, a difficult assignment at Florida, October 14th. That is part of one very tough stretch for the Aggies, but still manageable. They can go two and two here, certainly, with Arkansas, South Carolina, Alabama, and Florida in a row. Arkansas, the neutral site game as they've been playing at uh, Jerry's World, South Carolina, Alabama, and in Gainesville. That's a stretch that starts September 23rd, concludes October 14th. If they get through that in decent shape, then they've got a couple, couple toughies the rest of the season, but not too bad. The game at the Rose Bowl highlights the non-conference slate for Texas A&M. Good to see the Aggies playing someone. It started with UCLA last year. Before that, it was a lot of Lamars and Rices and Sam Houston States. At UCLA at the Rose Bowl against Josh Rosen and company September 2nd, they played a great game at Kyle Field to overtime last year. The other three non-conference games, they have to win. Nichols on September 9th and then later in the season, well, Louisiana Lafayette on September 16th. So it starts out UCLA on the road, Nichols and Louisiana Lafayette at home. Uh, that's an FCS, and that's one of the worst group of five projected teams in Louisiana Lafayette at 110 out of 130 in the ESPN Power Index. Later in the season, November 11th, to gear up for the final stretch run, it's one of those uh, cream puff SEC games out of conference late in the season, New Mexico at Kyle Field. But it's South Carolina, Florida out of division. It's the SEC West, and it's UCLA on the road at the Rose Bowl. So it's the 12th most difficult schedule in college football. It belongs to Texas A&M. It's number seven in the SEC. Let's talk it up right here on Mark Rogers TV.